This is the Jackson Bridge Hill Climb, a very well-known cycling hill climb just a couple of miles away from where we live, uh, a few miles outside of Holmfirth. Uh, it's not a constant gradient. It varies quite a lot, which makes it quite hard to pace it. But uh, as you see, it wraps up to 23% at one particular point and quite high uh, um, percentage gradients in other areas as well. Now that's the middle of the three main sections, uh, the one that we always think of as main course. It's probably the longest section uh, and it's fairly constant, ramping up to I think it's about 18% at its maximum, but most of it is probably 10 or 11 uh, percent gradient. Now that's another view of the same section uh, and you can see it just winding around the side of the hill uh, and the finish of the climb is up, you can just about see that farmhouse up at the top just below the ridge. Uh, you'll maybe get a better view on this next shot uh, but that's towards the top end of the middle section. Now this last bit here, that, that is your last little bit, that's the last kick uh, which is probably the, you know, one of the shortest bits of it but obviously you're fairly cooked by then anyway so you just keep an eye on that farmhouse and just give it everything you've got until you get to the top. Right, so this is just the start of the climb proper, uh, just getting past these few houses. Now this is a starter, this is what we always call it. Uh, and the problem with this bit is it is the steepest bit as well. Now that makes it a bit hard to pace because if you take this too fast, you're going to re repent that leisure because you're going to cook yourself further on up the climb. Uh, but it's tempting to do that because you, it is steep and you want to give it a bit of beans, but you need to be a little bit careful here and just pace, pace it within yourself a little bit. Now, the video quality wasn't that good because it's been raining uh, and I forgot to wipe the lens and the, the bit more rain hits it as well. So I'm afraid the, the video quality is not very good, uh, but I fancied giving it a go. So uh, I just thought I'd post it. Now, coming up to this right hander, uh, you can see the gradient starting to ramp up a bit more uh, and you're getting about 18-19% of this section uh, and then it swings around a bit. Then the next left hand turn is the steepest part of the climb where um, my uh, gadget says it goes up to 23%. Uh, the problem doing it as well on this day is uh, it's really quite slippy uh, the gradient racks up enough that um, you're, you're struggling for traction a little bit in places because this really does uh, get to the stage where you can't get out of the saddle particularly well otherwise you're, you're not going to grip the surface. Uh, so you know, probably better done in the dry if you get a choice. Right, now that's through the first section uh, and as you can see the gradient's uh, shallowing off a little bit. Uh, the problem as well with pacing this is you've just been up that steep bit so it's quite hard to keep the pressure on. The temptation is to lay off um, the power a little bit but uh, you know, you've got to try and push through because you've still got a fair little bit to go yet. So it shelves off a little bit and then fairly soon we start getting into uh, the middle longer section. Now, I'm afraid the video quality is getting a bit worse as well because you're getting higher up and uh, as I say it was raining a bit more so unfortunately you can't see an awful lot but uh, I didn't wipe the screen either I forgot I'm afraid.
Right, now the gradient's just starting to ramp up a little bit more, uh, and this is the middle of the three main sections. Uh, round about 11% gradient, probably average, but it does ramp up a little bit towards the end of this section. Uh, and, and this is where it starts to bite a little bit, you know, you start getting, uh, you start feeding it a little bit from here on in. Uh, but it's, it's, I quite like this section because at least it's relatively steady, you know, you've just got something to work against. It's not constantly varying that much, a couple of percent. Uh, now, the gradient on the, uh, the uh, gadget is saying it's about 5% or so, and it goes further down. I think it starts going into minus numbers, which is obviously not right. I would say it's at this section, it probably is 10, 11%. See there, it's saying it's going down. It's saying minus one, minus two. So there's something wrong there. But uh, it seems to recover itself. A bit further along, it gives a truer reading of what the gradient is. Uh, and I say, I, I think you're probably talking more 11 or so. Uh, and it gets gradually steeper towards the end of the section as well. just up there on the right hand side where uh, if you fancy a bit of a break from the suffering that's the place to stop and enjoy the view uh, but there's not much to see today I'm afraid starts ramping up again uh, towards the end of this section uh, but you know you're getting towards the end you see uh, a quarry uh, a little quarry entrance just there on your left that little uh, turning now once you get to that point you've probably just got another uh, more 200 meters uh, and then you get a very slight break before the last last section So that section just levels off there uh, at that point and there's a bit of a dip here. You get a little bit of a breather for a few seconds uh, before quite a sharp right hand turn uh, and then you're into the last section. Uh, uh, you're quite close to the top here so this is where you, you've been pacing yourself uh, throughout this climb but this is the point where whatever you've got left you just throw it on the road and you just give it as much beans as you can. Grit your teeth. Uh, and just keep going until you get to the top. Now the camera's waving around a little bit because I'm out of the saddle at this point uh, and the view's not very good either because there's a bit more rain on the screen but you get the gist of what, uh, what the thing looks like. So it, it is a fairly short, fairly sharp section of it uh, and you're just looking for the farmhouse at the top. Now the national, the hill climb championships, there's a, there's a finish line further up here, just level with that farmhouse. Uh, but if you're looking for the Strava segment, that's a little bit further along, that's at the junction right at the end of the road. 
Uh, but here we go, you're very nearly there now. You can see that house. Uh, and there's the, the finish line, the Hill Climb Championship finish line is that line in the, in the road there. And then the junction further along uh, is just the end of the section, end of the segment.